Welcome to SVR IAS Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss about implantable pancreas. Implantable pancreas. Recently, the IIT Guwahati scientist, IIT, which is located in the capital of the state of Assam, that is Guwahati, the scientist recently discovered a pancreas that is an artificial pancreas. It is also called as bio artificial pancreas. IIT Guwahati scientists have grown this implantable pancreas into the 3D silk scaffold. The pancreas is able to produce insulin. The artificial pancreas is encapsulated with the insulin producing cells. So, it is able to produce the insulin naturally. What pancreas does in our body normally? Pancreas is a mixed gland. That means it has exocrine part and endocrine part. What do you mean by exocrine part of pancreas? It is nothing but it produces digestive enzymes. We consume meat, egg and other fat rich diet. How all these fat rich diets are digested in our body? For that pancreas is very important. Pancreas especially produces pancreatic lipase enzyme. The li enzyme is a powerful enzyme that acts on the fat and emulsifies the fat and it is digested into triglycerides and simple fatty acids. They get absorbed in, into the body. So, this is the role played by exocrine part of the pancreas. Okay, fine. What is the role played by endocrine part of pancreas? Endocrine glands, you may have studied in, our, in your general science, there are so many endocrine glands are there in our body. They are pituitary glands, thyroid glands, parathyroid glands, thymus gland, pancreas, adrenal glands. So these are the important endocrine glands in our body. Pancreas also plays a very important role as an endocrine gland. It produces few very important hormones. Hormones means it is secreted by one gland and the hormone gets mixed in the blood and the hormone is taken all over the body and it acts on the different organs. So, the pancreas produces two very important hormones. They are insulin and second is glucagon. Insulin and glucagon. Insulin plays a very important role. Insulin decreases the blood glucose level. At the same time, glucagon increases the blood glucose level. So, the pancreas produces two hormones that acts on the glucose, there is no problem. But in the opposite way, insulin tries to decrease the blood glucose level and glucagon at the same time tries to increase the blood glucose level. So, there should be a fine balance between the glucagon and insulin production. Then why people get diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is a condition in that blood glucose level is not controlled properly. So, blood glucose level increases tremendously. Diabetes mellitus occurs because of the faulty production of the insulin hormone. So, scientists were 
trying to discover the reason for that and there are two types of diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus type 1 occurs in the children and type 2 diabetes mellitus which occurs in the adults is one important difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes mellitus you might have studied about diabetes in india india is considered as world's diabetic capital so india is the diabetic capital of the world crores of indians are getting diabetes we can say few reasons like genetic reason and dietary changes and lifestyle modifications when people is not doing any physical work and sitting in the chair idly means there are high chances to get the diabetes mellitus so we need to do regular exercise at least one hour brisk walking every day second reason is diet changes indians tend to consume more amount of white rice white rice is nothing but polished rice when we do polishing of the rice many vitamins and minerals are lost most of the vitamins and minerals are located in the outer layer of the rice so polished rice is nothing but outer layer is removed only the core part there is only part the starch rich part so when we consume the rice only we get glucose so when the continuous consumption of the glucose puts more pressure on the pancreas to produce more insulin so more insulin is needed to reduce the amount of glucose in the blood so when when we consume three times the rice items like idli and afternoon rice and evening rice it puts more pressure on the pancreatic pancreas to produce more insulin at one point of time pancreas stops responding to blood glucose signal so it is generally advisable to consume less amount of rice and to eat more wheat based items like chapati and other items one more exam point in the pancreas is pancreas has two type of cells mainly one is alpha cell and second one is beta cells alpha cells produces the hormone called glucagon and beta cells produce the hormone called as insulin these are the two important facts you should know in this topic so after learning so many points now you might have understood the importance of the iit guwahati scientist invention about bio artificial pancreas when the diabetes gets older it means after some years slowly the diabetes affects three important organs nervous system eye and kidney these three organs are affected mainly because of the diabetes mellitus kidney failure is one of the common reason for death in the diabetes mellitus so every year indians spends billions of us dollars for treating the diabetes mellitus so in this background the discovery of the iit guwahati scientist is very important because this by implantable bio artificial pancreas once developed successfully and tested successfully it can be implanted into our body whose pancreas failed and it acts like a normal pancreas and produces insulin and glucagon hormone naturally that's all about the discovery of the iit guwahati scientist that is bio artificial pancreas and it's important it comes in gs paper 3 where we have a syllabus called science and technology so you can say application of the science and technology in our day to day life so let's prepare well on this topic and all the best